sportswear industry analysis. Let's take a look back at 2019. Lots of things have changed in the sportswear industry. And by the looks of things, it seems like change will remain constant for everyone. Keep up and make sure your brand is not falling behind by taking a look at the sportswear industry analysis for 2019. Over the past few years, we've seen sportswear become part of our normal life. And by normal life, we mean outside the gym. Nowadays, yoga pants and sweatpants have become such casual attire that we see the majority of people going about their day in them. It's now considered to be a basic must for people's wardrobes. And because of this, athletic wear has carved its own niche into the fashion industry. Within months, the world saw major brands such as Gucci and more release their own take of sportswear. And that was only the start. With this much competition, how can newcomers find their spot? Well, by knowing the arena well. Hey guys, welcome to Creative. Here we use our passion for the game to change the game. Every week we talk about solutions that can truly change the business of sports. And today we're here to give up and coming sportswear brands the advantage by providing them with an overall analysis of today's sportswear industry. Revolutionize the game and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. T -O -P. Frankly speaking, the growing popularity of athleisure wear can be traced into two sectors, the health and fitness sector, as well as the fashion sector. As more people grow conscientious of their health, so did the demand for gym wear. And on the other side of things, as more models, A-list celebrities, and athletes amp things up by parroting their favorite brands like Nike and Adidas all around, it didn't take long for the demands in both markets to grow and it further solidified the success of the industry. So let's take a kind of an overview. Admittedly, entering the growing sportswear industry in a time wherein competition is harsh is pretty intimidating. But as we mentioned earlier, we're here to help by covering all the ground research you need in today's market. Ultimately speaking, there's two major changes that elevated the industry into where it is now. Prominent products and the newer regions. So let's take a look at the prominent products. Well, it's not that the entire industry had a spectacular year. There's two main products that brought much of its revenue, the apparel and the footwear. Of course, as the market grew, so did the demand. Consumers were now looking for more wearable and fashionable pieces similar to the ones models wear. Since it's now more than okay to wear comfy clothes, they now wanna look good in them. Brands delivered better clothes that feature newer technologies such as insulators, microfibers, and nanotechnology. Add into the revenue segment. Celebrities like Rihanna and Beyonce launched their own athleisure collections in collaboration with major brands like Puma and Adidas. Experts believe that the segment will continue to register a 10.7% growth from 2019 to 2025. On the other hand, footwear underwent the same phenomenon. One of the major releases that happened in the previous year was Kanye's collaboration with Adidas and the Covenant Yeezy shoes. The Yeezy launch was then followed by more iconic collaborations between well-known stars and sportswear brands, sending sneaker heads into a buying frenzy. By the look of things, it seemed like both segments will continue to hold the largest market share in the industry like it did in the previous year. New regions, new consumers. The growth that the industry experienced in 2019 didn't just happen locally, it happened globally. After the boom in Asia Pacific, North America, and Europe followed suit. North America became the largest regional market in 2018 and has maintained the same dominance the following year. And on the other side of the globe, Europe was doing the same thing. Europe's local sportswear market is now estimated to be worth 115 million and it's expected to reach 172 million by the year 2025. While competition may be tough, the industry has never had this much consumers until today. So how do you prepare for the battle? 
While it may be true that the growing trend of living a healthier lifestyle and celebrities wearing athleisure clothes played a big part in the success of the sportswear industry, there's another factor that contributes to this. One that when used strategically can become a newcomer's secret weapon, the internet. Researchers are predicting an increased participation from the internet and social media itself. Keep in mind that in 2019 was also the year that almost everyone in the sports apparel industry jumped into the bandwagon digital marketing. More and more brands have spent larger sums of money just to reach their consumers and would-be buyers, be it through Google ads, Facebook ads, or just pure organic search on Google. Nowadays, it's not enough for brands to DIY their marketing strategies. Key players are constantly observing the overview of the market for undiscovered gems and competitive advantage. So if you're a newcomer to the sportswear market, it's best that you keep in mind everything you've learned from this video and harness it into your digital marketing campaigns. Admittedly, learning the ropes of the ever-expanding sportswear industry is hard, but luckily you have marketing experts like us to help you out. If you want a deeper analysis of the industry, we're linking our original blog post below where we give a more life-changing tips. And in case you have a few more questions, you can always check out our website and reach out. We hope you guys loved today's video. And if you wanna learn more about great solutions that can change the game, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. This is Zach with Creative, where business is our sport. <laughs>